Hey everyone, I'm Kim from Some Days Here. I used to do a lot of cooking videos and I have been asked to start back doing them. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today we're gonna do some gumbo since we're actually in South Louisiana and it's a thing that you do here. So I wanted to tell y'all how I do this in the Instapot. It is so easy. What I did the other, well, two days ago, was I got a whole chicken from the grocery store and I actually cooked it in here so that I could get my own broth and stuff to do the gumbo. I think it's actually better if you do that instead of using the boxes. My personal opinion, that's the way I do it. So I did the chicken and I took it out and then I took it and I just shredded it all up. I still have more in the refrigerator. So that's done and I have my stock in here and what I did was I did the I did my stock and I actually added because I didn't think it was enough enough stock in there so I added two more cups and used the better than bouillon um, look stuff that you can add to it so I put this in here along with three heaping tablespoons of Savoy's room mix because I'm not good at making a root I'm just not good at it. Some people are, some people aren't. This is just too easy to use and this is my go-to. So what goes in there is a cup of onion diced up. It has got um, two tablespoons of garlic minced. It's got three stalks of celery. I have one stick of the andouille sausage that's about I don't even know how it comes I mean what it is but it's like this long and I cut it up in little pieces and I put that in there you don't want a lot of the andouille sausage you could use more if you're using the smoked sausage but today I'm using andouille because I think it gives a better flavor to the to the to the actual juice that's in there and I'm gonna add this at the very end I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some green onion on the top but at, to this I added some emeralds um, seasoning, Creole seasoning, and you can get that recipe on the internet. It's on there. Just type in Emerald seasoning and it comes up and tells you how to make it and that's what I do because it's, it's a lot cheaper to do it that way than it is to go buy the little jar of it. And I didn't add any salt because that better than bouillon is pretty salty so I don't want to mess it up and have too much salt in there. So you warm this for like 20 minutes and after everything is warmed and kind of you know you know, nice and gelled together, you're going to add just everything in here. My chicken, my sausage, andouille sausage. See how little I cut them up? You don't want big, huge pieces of andouille sausage, in my opinion. This is my onion and celery and everything that I mixed up, already cut up for you. So I'm just going to add all this in there. It makes it so good. And I really think the Instapot does better than if you cook it on the stove, simply because when it goes underneath pressure, it just makes it so much better to me. So we have our chicken that's going to break up and be really fine when it gets through. And we're going to cook this. And guess how long we're going to cook it for? We're going to cook this for six minutes on high. And I'm going to come back to you and show you how it looks. How easy is that for a meal that would last a long time? Let's, let's um, go ahead and do this for the six minutes on high pressure. I'm going to use the manual and adjust it and do that. And I'm going to have it sealed. And then after it's sealed, I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes before I release the pressure in there. Because you have chicken, well really 10 minutes, because you have chicken in there and you don't want it, if you do it too fast and the chicken gets very tough. So we want it to be very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, soft and juicy. So let me do this and we will come back to you and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay guys, we're back again. And when I told you the four minutes, I did that because I had to look up a recipe because I cannot find my gumbo 
recipe for the Instapot. And it was not nearly enough time on here. So I actually added 26 minutes to make it 30 minutes and I made the gumbo. So the gumbo is now ready and it's really good. We made some rice in the, in the rice cooker and we're gonna have some crackers with it and we're gonna call it a day. But my question to y'all is, we are now doing like starting back on keto. We've been doing this for a while and we got off track for a little while, but we're going back on it. So I was just curious, are you interested in seeing me do any kind of keto recipes in my Ninja Foodie or the Instapot? Or what would you actually like to see me cook? I love to cook and I would love to show y'all the things that I cook. I just need some suggestions of what you would like to have. Okay, Daryl's ready for a bowl. So we're going to get some rice. Some people like a lot of rice, some people don't. I mean, it just depends on your taste and how much you want in there. So I just put probably maybe a little less than a half a cup. And I'm going to give him some. And it's hot in a paper plate bowl. And there you go. Yum, yum, yum. Y'all have a great day. Thank, thanks for sticking with me and watching me do this. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if you think of something that you want me to cook, let me know. I'll do it. Have a great weekend, y'all.